So how do you like my uh, Radio Shack truck? I got it for three bucks. No remote, but uh, it doesn't matter because I don't need it. So I like this truck. Uh, it's got these little features about it that really make it cool compared to other Radio Shack trucks. Uh, let me explain. One of the things is the drivetrain. It's got one diff in the back that works for both the front and back. Have a look at this. Okay, so if I take the truck, I've already taken it apart before, flip it over. If I do this, oh, hold on. It's not screwed on. This way. Now, if you look at the drive system, if a single diff outputs to each side here and here and these drives here go all the way to the front and drive the front wheels obviously uh, now the beauty of this is that if uh, most of the time a 4x4 truck will get jacked up with one wheel in the air and the front and so on and so forth uh, and usually the diff will cause one of the wheels just to spin but with this system, there's always one side or the other that has traction. So I'm guessing this truck would do pretty good in a trail. So we're going to test it out. But first, I got to fix it up and get it ready to go. Now, another thing that I liked about this was this is the original servo system, and it fits in like this. Now, I realize that I'm testing another servo like this one that it fits in perfectly. So all I got to do is mount this piece here onto the, uh, the existing steering system and it's ready to go for that. Now I am waiting for a speed controller. I just got to change the wires with the standard uh, bullet connectors on it. Uh, cut out this area here to put the battery in and install the receiver and that's pretty much it. Might add a bit of lights in it because you know lights will make this thing look kind of cool. So I'm going to start by soldering the wires on the motor and installing the servo so let's get to business
Well, that's it for now. I'm waiting for uh, some parts for it, uh, mainly the ESC and uh, some servos, or a servo actually for that one. And uh, we'll see what happens with this once I get it running. Uh, probably on the next video, in the next week or so, hopefully. See ya.